This episode sponsored by Kite, but more on that later. Let's talk about projects. You've got to do projects. You just have to do projects if you want to learn Python. But you know that, right? Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. You know that's what you need to do. The difficulty is finding problems that are difficult enough to challenge you that aren't just trivial, like the exercises you get in your book, but aren't so hard that you have no chance of being able to answer them as a beginner. And that's what we're going to solve in this video. I've got five problems that I think just hit that sweet spot of being challenging enough, but not too challenging. You'll definitely learn a lot more Python if you do these problems. So let's get started. Problem number one. Can you plot a random walk? Well, can you? Do you know what a random walk is? Because if you don't, that's fine. But go and research it, go and look online and find out what a random walk is and then try to understand it as much as you can. This is the Wikipedia page, uh, the Random Walk Wikipedia page. And it's really important to develop that mindset, that problem solving mindset, because a lot of beginners, you know, they're faced with the, the first hurdle, they don't understand it. And then, you know, they'll go and ask for help. And there's nothing wrong with asking for help, but you've got to have a really good attempt at answering the question first. And in order to do that, you need to understand all aspects of what the question is asking you. So if you don't know what a random walk is, go and research it. Read the Wikipedia page. If you don't understand it after reading that, because sometimes it can be a bit mathematical and a bit complex, find a simpler explanation until you really understand what a random walk is. This equation might help. Um, what it says is that the value of y at about some time t is equal to the value of y at t minus one plus a random number. That's what the E stands for. And that's how you plot a random walk. You're gonna to need to know matplotlib and using that equation and matplotlib and some problem solving skills, you should be able to plot a random walk in one dimension. When you've done that, see if you can plot it in two dimensions or see if you can plot, I don't know, 100 random walks on the same axis just to see how they vary. Uh, and, you know, just play around with, with different ideas and problem solving strategies to see whether you can come up with some interesting solutions. That's problem number one. I want to tell you about today's sponsor because it's something that I think you're going to love. And not only that, I think it could make you a better coder. Kite is a plugin for text editors and IDEs that provides an auto-complete facility that uses machine learning to really optimize its suggestions. In fact, they're so good that I think you could learn from them. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Kite is the intelligent autocomplete system which will complete based on relevance using machine learning. Uh, you can also access documentation using Kite Copilot so you don't have to go searching the web when you want to research a function. I find this a particularly useful feature and it will even show you how others have used the function you're interested in. It's capable of completing full lines of code and its intelligent snippets even enables it to suggest placeholder values for your function calls. And on top of all of that, Kite is free. So why don't you go and try it out for yourself. There's a link in the description. Click on that to install it onto your system. Problem number two, it's another plotting one, I'm afraid. So I'm really going to be testing your matplotlib skills. This is simulating chaos and it's the logistic difference equation. It's on the screen here. And Veritasium, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the YouTube channel Veritasium. It's a really good channel and he makes uh, excellent videos on various different science related topics. And recently he made a video about this, uh, this equation and that gave me the idea of trying to do it in Python. Um, and what this equation says is that the value of x at n plus 1 is equal to some constant r times the value of x at n, so the previous value of x, multiplied by 1 minus the value of x at n. So it's a bit of a mouthful when you explain it, but it's really quite a simple and beautiful equation. And when you plot it, it really does have uh, some really interesting properties that I can let you explore. There are a couple of things you need to know about this equation in order to be able to plot it successfully. X takes the range between zero and one. So just pick a random value of X for your starting point in that range. And R takes the value between zero and four and play around with different values of R to see what you get and plot it over a value, you know, maybe three or 400 points as far as N is concerned. So you want 300 or three or 400 different points that you're plotting with X taking the range between zero and one to start with a random number 
and R in the range 0 to 4 and change the value of R, see what that does. Do some research on this equation because under the right conditions you can get the bifurcation diagram. That's problem 2. Problem 3, and we're moving away from plotting, is quite simple. Just build a calculator in Python. Now, to begin with, the first iteration should just be a text calculator. It should prompt the user for input and then give them options, you know, as to whether they want to add or multiply or divide the numbers that have been input. And the system should ask whether they want to carry on doing that or to exit. Once you've got that working, move the project on by doing it graphically. So build a graphical user interface using TK Inter and you could build a really nice calculator doing that. So that's project number three, quite a simple one. Problem number four, it's quite easy to explain, but a little bit more complex to implement. And that's write a program that simulates the game of blackjack. And make sure you look up all the rules and see how it varies, whether you're a dealer or a player, uh, and try to get cl as close as you can to a proper simulation of the game of blackjack. And then following on project number five, just to make use of you know, classes and creating, you know, your own objects in Python, write a class that will create a playing card object and think about what you might need in order to do that. So those are five beginner projects. I hope you like them. I'm not giving you the solutions. I mean, the solutions are out there. If you want to find them online, you can do an online search, but don't do that. Implement it yourself. You can definitely do it and you'll learn so much in the process. See you next time.